Hey, Jonathan, you ready for some E3 speculation? E3's coming up? I don't care. I haven't cared about E3 in like 15 years, but <laughs> let's talk about it anyway. Let's talk about it. Well, let, let's have that be the beginning of the conversation. Is E3 relevant anymore? I don't. Uh, I used to just be chomping at the bit for news out of E3, and now I don't really give two shits. Uh, like, I haven't heard any news break from E3 in at least four years, five years. Uh, I think um, Xbox gave their Xbox One um, keynote at E3, I think, back uh, back a couple years ago. Yeah. Do they give a, do they announce yeah, they, it at they E3? Do, yeah, they do. They still announce it at E3, but here's the problem I think that they're facing. Um, sure, Microsoft still attends E3. Sony still goes to E3. Nintendo still goes to E3. But their presentations, mm-hmm. their keynotes and all that, are streamed directly to your console. So, for them anyway, it's kind of it's it's becoming less important to have a physical presence like as at like they used to. Or there. launch, you know, uh, have like uh, uh, big product launches and secrets revealed at E3. Because yeah. because why? Because we're in an era now where it's like, why am I going here when all of my customers, when they log on to the my onto our hardware, we can preach to the choir. Yeah, we can preach to the choir. We can reach the people who own our system directly as it pertains to games um, where I guess with hardware it still makes sense because you want to get the word out on your heart but still you can do it on your old console yeah. too um, so yeah I and then you there's other big events you can tell because other companies like there's um, uh, what's it called is it Gamescom in Germany um, Sony and Microsoft have made big announcements there now so it's yeah. no longer E3 I think it's a mixture of being able for, for them to reach their customers directly on their consoles, um, and the fact that there's been other events that have kind of are now like rising and becoming equivalent, like oh well, we gotta because you know the European market's a big market, so going to Gamescom is important because mm-hmm. you you want to make sure that they, you know that market knows what you have. Where right. E3 will still be, you know, I think in the short term still important, but eventually it's just going to fade off unless they find some unique way, uh, something that they have that, you know, Sony, Nintendo, and Microsoft are like, oh, well, we have to go to E3 because of X or Y or B, you know, because you know, cause we can reach this audience yeah. and all that. Uh, but it's going to be harder because that, that damn internet. <laughs> that damn internet. I remember in the days of uh, G4 TV. Oh, uh, yeah. Some people might may or may not. They always had E3 coverage. Yeah. And this they would was, always pump you up, too. Remember, they would yes, do it like a month like a before. Week, <laughs> a week of nothing but uh, <laughs> tech, catch our exclusive interview from G3 or yeah. E3 and all this stuff. And it was, it was, it was funny because it, it really was sort of like a Comic-Con. People could come to E3 and they could learn about stuff coming out from publishers, stuff coming out from hardware makers. But I think like a few years ago, E3 sort of went more corporate. They shut the public out and they just started letting journalists in. Or did yeah, they, they yeah, did like I think they still do that sometimes. Shift. Like, yeah, there, there's. Uh, I know. I know it's not everything, but uh, uh, there's a lot of times where companies will come in or, or developers will come in and they have this game that we're all excited to see, and they're like, "No, we're just going to invite the press in to come see the demo," mm-hmm. and no one else gets to see it or get their hands on it, and you have to wait for the press to come out with a. If they allow it, if they allow to show, uh, here's the video they showed us, or you know, here's here's what I think of it, and it's just kind of like, especially in this day and age where we can like stream it online and all that, it's like it doesn't make. Back in the day, back like back in the 80s and 90s, made perfect sense because only journalists, for the most part, unless you lived where you know, does E3 take place in, is it LA? or Something like that, I like do it in Vegas or something. Yeah, somewhere yeah, in the States. Yeah, it's somewhere in the States and, like, if you could get out there, yeah, that's great, but like, back then it made more sense because only journalists would be the ones, you know, who could afford, because they'd get paid to go there so they could write about it and all that, where nowadays it's like, you don't need to like, go through the yeah. journalists. You can get it directly to your you know, to the people you want to sell it to. Of course, E3 used to be um, more fan-oriented, I believe. People used to dress up as video game characters and go to E3. It was like a yeah. thing that they would do. Like, it was an event. But they're, they're, now there's bigger events. Like, Dragon Con in Atlanta yeah. is a huge <coughs> cosplay event. So. 150,000 people or something go yeah. there. Yeah, so, so I mean, it's their thunder is slowly being taken away by different things. So I think, I think it's... Uh, 
It's not one thing. I think it's uh, what's the word I'm looking for? An amalgamation. Amalgamation. Amalgamation of, of of several things that are causing yeah. it to be less relevant because people are getting their uh, news from other places. Yeah. These, these I used to actually ask people. I'll, I'll, I'll still do that. I'll ask people, are "You excited for E3?" And they're like, eh. Yeah. Back in the day, I'd be like E3. They're yeah. like, "Oh yeah, I can't yeah. wait to see what Sony comes out yeah. with." Yeah. What was? Yeah. What is Microsoft going to come out with at E3? Yeah. You can, now it's just pretty much going to be guaranteed that Microsoft's going to come out with an announcement of when they're going to have their own keynote. So I mean, it's like yeah. they're not. There's no E3 excitement in my heart like yeah. there used to be. Yeah, and uh, I guess that's where we'll end this one. Let us know in the comments section below what you think. Of E3. Would you go? Is there a point in going? Yeah. Are, is there anything coming out of E3 this year that you're excited to hear about? Yeah. Any yeah. questions? Uh, hit us up at 2BitJesus on Twitter. Leave a like, subscribe, share, stay safe, and play on.